Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. So I ended up pre-ordering a brand new comic book. Yeah, and uh, n normally if you watch a channel, you might know that I'm usually super selective with new comic book day books. Uh, yeah, I rarely purchase a brand new comic book. Uh, but for this one, just an amazing cover and at cover price, it just started to make sense. And so I ended up grabbing uh, two in the raw. Uh, no CGC 9.8s this time. Yeah, just uh, two in the raw at cover price. Great cover. So just making a lot of sense, I think. Now, uh, I made a similar video to this one about a month ago where I had pre-ordered an Amazing Spider-Man number 50, the Ortega variant. And uh, just in the last few days here, I got uh, my two in here that I pre-ordered. Yeah, really awesome silk cover, I think. And um, yeah, I think luckily both of mine are in really good shape too. So really happy to get those two in. Uh, now for this video here, I got the one pre-order that um, I did purchase two of. I got two other pre-sales that were just catching my eye that I wanted to share with you as well that you could certainly consider. All right, but the new comic book I ended up pre-ordering is an Amazing Spider-Man number 55. Yeah, this is a really awesome cover, I think, by Patrick Gleason. Yeah, a cover that's really standing out on all the pre-orders right now, I think. This is a good example of what I would call kind of like a concept cover. You know, whereas like some covers are like action covers with a lot of colors and heroes. Uh, this one's kind of opposite of that, a concept cover, and just nailed it on this one though, I think, sort of with the webbing and with Spider-Man's profile and the plain black cover, yeah, just, a really great eye appealing cover that I think could be really collectible over time. So at cover price, it's it's making sense, absolutely. Uh, so this one, it doesn't ship until December 30th. So it's kind of a newer pre-order. Doesn't ship until December 30th. So this is gonna be like a, a New Year's present for me, basically. But I think if you're into new comic books, this is definitely one I think you wanna pre-order. If you're not even into new comic books though, I think this one has the chance to, you know, you get it at cover price now and you know, you love the cover and love the art for a couple years and maybe when you want to sell it, it's, you know, people are paying 20 to 30 because it's just a really great modern Spider-Man cover that really sticks out. And sometimes these concept covers can really become collected over time. They kind of stick out a little bit more, I think, than your sort of average cool, you know, action type of a superhero cover. Uh, so let's talk about the pricing here though. I ended up grabbing it uh, for $5.79 Canadian each, uh, which ends up being about $4.40 American. So maybe a little bit over cover that this one seller was selling it for uh, on eBay. So uh, two for, uh, yeah, $4.40 we'll call it. Plus it was like $5 shipping or something like that. So right at cover price for this really cool cover and you know pretty early on the pre-order too, which uh, I think is good where you can you know, still get out there and get this one. Um, I grabbed it from, it was a Dungeon Comics on eBay uh, in Canada. They're a Canadian seller too, so I'm not sure if, how that'll work out if you're in the U United States, but I still think, um, you know, some of your favorite new comic book day retailers should still have this one to pre-order. It, it's quite popular, yeah, I'm pretty sure on the few sites that I kind of follow for a new comic book day, new comic book day stuff, uh, this was basically the best selling pre sale right now for like just kind of normal first print issues that are, you know, only uh, four or five bucks kind of thing rather than some of these variants, obviously. But yeah, for all around, you know, price is the price is right. Great cover. I think this is one you just want to get in there at cover price and grab a couple. I grabbed two. Um, yeah, certainly uh, one of the newer ones that uh, I think is worth focusing on. Now, I mentioned there, I got uh, two other pre-sales that were just catching my eye. Let's go over those really quick here. Um, and maybe, you know, you can consider them. I didn't end up uh, pulling the trigger on these. But the first one, it's an Amazing Spider-Man number 51, the uh, Coelho variant here. So this one is shipping uh, just uh, on November 4th. So shipping kind of in a week or so here. Uh, but uh, this Coelho variant is really cool. It's got basically all the Spider-Man on the cover, like Spider-Gwen, uh, Spider-Woman, Silk, uh, Peter Parker. Yeah, just all, all the Spider-Mans. So kind of a cool uh, montage cover of all the different Spider-Mans and pretty well executed and looking pretty cool. Uh, this one was pretty popular too with I think just a, a few left on um, the uh, seller that I was looking at. So. And, and yeah, for me, this is one that kind of caught my eye. But I, yeah, being not right into new comic books, I didn't end up pulling the trigger on this one. 
Uh, but the last one here is, and I'm hoping you can find this one if you were interested in it, because I'm, it's kind of an exclusive, I guess, but um, uh, Wolverine number seven, the Del Auto Illuminati exclusive. Uh, so if you're in Canada, the site I did see that has this in stock is uh, comictraders.ca. Uh, they have uh, the trade dress and the virgin variant of this. Just a super well executed Del Auto Wolverine cover. Yeah, Del Auto for me is kind of hit or miss, I think, but when he hits it, it's a, it's a great cover. And this one is especially great. I don't think this is a key issue at all. It just I just saw the cover and thought I'd include it on this one. But uh, this one ships on uh, November 11th. Yeah, it's the Del Auto Illuminati exclusive. And uh, at on comictraders.ca, they're asking $15 Canadian. So that'll put it around about 11, 12 bucks American. Uh, so a little bit more than kind of a cover price. This is our, uh, you know, a, a first print. This is uh, basically a, a variant, a little bit more uh, limited variant print. But uh, Tell Auto Wolverine just uh, killing it on this cover and I think it's certainly one to consider. Okay, uh, just a quick video today. Yeah, the Amazing Spider-Man number 55 though is I think a pre-order worth getting on right now. It's still kind of early, doesn't ship till December 30th. So I, I think you can find this one and get it for a really cheap price and just enjoy the great cover and the great art. Yeah, Patrick Gleason, great uh, job on uh, this awesome uh, Spider-Man concept cover, I think. All right, uh, if you haven't already, I would invite you to join the team and subscribe to Team CGC 9.8. Yeah, I would love to have you on our comic book collecting and comic book investing team. Hit the bell for all the latest video notifications and add me on Instagram and Twitter as well. All the links in the description below. But yeah, you know what? If you're into new comic books, Amazing Spider-Man number 55, I think, is one to get. And even if you're like me, it's tempted me enough to uh, end up pulling the trigger and getting two raws. And I think this is a really great cover and great art that you can really enjoy having. So uh, yeah, at cover price, it really makes sense, I think, for Amazing Spider-Man number 55. Okay, uh, thanks so much for watching today. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you're going to go after this one or not. I think at this cover price, um, I think it's it's certainly worth it. All right, uh, thanks again for all the support and uh, message me on Instagram if you had any questions and uh, just loving all the conversations I'm having on Instagram. So uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.